My name is Miriam Corneli, and I'm an English language fellow living in Kathmandu, Nepal. The most surprising thing for me about living in Nepal is the fact that I was here 35 years ago. So in that interval, Kathmandu has gone from a small town of 350,000 people to this gigantic metropolis of 3 million people. But the other surprising thing here is how flexible and how relaxed people are in spite of having to drive their motorcycles through the smog or deal with all kinds of infrastructure problems, they maintain a really good sense of humor about it all. They're, they're actually optimistic. So I feel like I'm learning a lot from that. It's good. Well, I was really lucky to find this place because it's a five minute taxi ride from my school and it's uh, 25 minutes on foot. And it's just such a beautiful space. I, I can come here and really relax and just feel like it's a retreat from the hustle and bustle and dust. So the fact that we don't always have electricity, hot water's not working right now, you know, those are side challenges, but I, I just enjoy the balance of urban with this kind of garden atmosphere. So I teach at Tripavan University, and Tripavan is the national university, and it's in sort of a transition zone, but the students are all education majors. They're all going to be teachers of English or Nepali or geography or population studies. So my students are English students who are in their second year, and then sometimes I work with the master's students. But right now I'm teaching a class on English for communications, which is great because I like to communicate with English. And I'm also responsible for working with the Speakers Club. And the Speakers Club is the master's students and they get together once a week and really work on their presentation skills. So that's also exciting. I don't need to teach anymore about it. It's perfect. It's a really interesting job because it's full of potential for me to find out what kind of things I can do as a teacher and what kinds of effects I can add to the mix here where they've come from with this very strict lecture format and really help people think about a new way of teaching and learning. One of the things I really feel grateful about is living so close to the Monkey Temple because in my free time I like to go walking around the Monkey Temple. It's, uh, it's an amazing Buddhist shrine and has a lot of history and just amazing local color and it's very pleasant to walk around the bay sort of stroll up there and look at the actual stupa itself. And I, I love to walk around through the small alleys and small streets of Kathmandu. That's really cool because every alley has like its own unique view that's far away from the busy traffic. And I find that the best thing is if people are looking at me, I just say namaste and smile and everybody's happy to meet me. So that's a pleasant thing here. The, the best part of being a fellow is that it's really an amazing way for me to meet a lot of local people and to really feel like I'm making some kind of difference in their lives. And also it's making a huge difference in my life that I've gotten to learn so much about Nepal and living here and just meeting amazing people like on a daily basis. So I think the best part about being a fellow is being a fellow. It's, it's awesome.